In uh, food processing operations, it is common to observe that many systems involve heating or cooling processes. In this uh, module, we will look at a change in enthalpy or the heat content of the system by using our first law of thermodynamics. So first we will look at what is called sensible heating or cooling processes where there is a change in temperature involved. We will also examine processes that involve latent heating or cooling where, where there is no change in temperature. So in case of sensible heating at constant pressure, uh, most of the food processing operations are carried out at constant pressure. So if the uh, heating process involves a change in temperature, uh, let's say from T1 to T2, then the change in the enthalpy or the heat content, uh, delta H, uh, recall that H is the uh, symbol uh, we are using for enthalpy, delta H equals H2 minus H1. And uh, this equals the heat content, Q, uh, capital Q. Uh, again, recall from the previous module that we can write Q equals M uh, integral T1 to T2 Cp dt. Now, we can simplify this integral. It's uh, that specific heat Cp value is constant, so we can take it out of the integral and uh, then evaluate uh, the integral dt, uh, which is of course t, uh, evaluated at t1 and t2. So we have delta H equals m Cp t2 minus t1. Uh, this is probably one of the most important equations that you will be encountering very often uh, in uh, uh, various topics related to heat transfer. Uh, it's called MCP, uh, sometimes you just say delta T, which is the change in temperature. Uh, so MCP delta T refers to the change in the heat content uh, of a system or an object uh, when there is a certain amount of change in temperature. Uh, note that these units for specific heat are joules per kilogram degree C. Uh, the units for M in mass are kilograms and the units for temperature uh, of course are degree Celsius. So the change in uh, uh, the enthalpy content delta H uh, the units are joules. Now, if you have heating or cooling at constant pressure that uh, involves a phase change, uh, then you have uh, latent heat uh, involved. Now, it could be uh, latent heat of fusion uh, when ice, for example, is melted to water, or it could be latent heat of vaporization when, for example, water vaporizes to steam. Uh, note that the latent heat of fusion uh, for water at zero degrees Celsius is uh, 333.2 kilojoules per kilogram. And the latent heat of vaporization of water uh, at 100 degrees C uh, is uh, 2,257.06 kilojoules per kilogram. Now, this of course applies to when there is no change in temperature and the only latent heat is involved uh, during a change of phase. So in the uh, following modules, we will look at some examples uh, of how we can conduct an energy balance involving heat transfer in a system.